fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> Hi all, well here we are again. And no, I'm not going to be doing a, another review on my Park Zone F4U Corsair, but what a beauty it was. But Horizon have just released a brand new Corsair, the F4U1A Corsair. So, let's get rid of this one, and let's have a look at the new one. Yes, with thanks to Mike from OMP again, I can now bring you a close-up look just before it's released of this pre-release Corsair. It's a uh, really different model. It's going to have flaps, retracks. It's a completely redesigned one. It's not the old one redone. So let's get it out of the box and have a look, shall we? Okay, there's the foam insert out. I'll get all these parts out of the box and we'll have a close-up look and then we'll build it. As always, the manual's on the bottom of the box. Right, we've got all the contents out of the box. Let's have a quick look at it. This was the bind and fly model. In the you get the normal two to three cell charger with the car plug on it. A park zone 2200 milliamp battery. The foam drop tanks, very light. It screws them into the bottom of the plane if you're gonna fit them. I'm going to fit them onto the uh, one I build because it's the stock plane. Your bag of goodies with the nuts, bolts, etc. And your wheels. The tail plane is already set up. Very similar to your P47 as this whole plane is with the retracts and flaps. So that just goes in there and slots in. The wing. Now the wing is feels a lot thicker. You've got two mounting screws to hold it on. There's the flaps already. You can see just here, they're ready to be cut. Decals are the same ones that are always on the park zone. They don't look like the new one that looks like it's been painted on. I don't know why they've not done that on this model, but that's what is there. Underneath you can see two fiberglass looking spars that go across here. They look quite good. That's going to make it stronger. Here's the spot for our retracts, the hole. Here with a bit of tape over it is the slot for the flaps. You'll just put your servo in there. It's got the spot to connect the horn on. So it all, all looks pretty straightforward. There's where our drop tanks attach. Again, this wing looks good. You can see that brace in there. It's uh, right the way through. The fuselage. It's got some very neat exhaust stacks coming out the bottom, both sides. Add a bit of realism and look at this motor. Look at the detail there. There's a lot of difference in that. As you can see, there's the old motor. It doesn't really look like a motor, does it? The guys who like to go full scale, this one's going to paint up beautiful. Looks very nice. Now, something else that's different on this one. We've got the familiar little tab there, like on the P47, but instead of the whole lid and canopy coming off this time, it's just the front bit. They've redesigned that as well. So you've just got the front bit comes off. In there you can see the S up the front here and the slot for your battery. Still looks like there's plenty of room in there for your battery. You've got an extension for the bind plug and that just slots back in there. Nice strong magnet. Feels pretty good. Of course the tail goes in a little different because it's the same as the P47. It's not like the old one. The mouldings look much better on this model. In underneath the wing you have your AR600. You even get some stickers so you can make it Tommy Blackburn's Big Hog or Ira Catford's plane. Of course if you want to you can make it whatever you like. Okay that's about all we've got to look at. So now let's put it together. We'll just put it together in the basic form to start with. I don't have the retracks at the moment, but I'll do the flap and retrack installation when the retracks arrive next week. So keep an eye out for that if you're wanting to learn how to put the retracks in and the flaps on. All of what you need to buy for your flaps is the servos. The linkages all come with the plane. Okay, let's get this model together. First up, you have to remove this panel here that holds the wheels in place. So I've unscrewed them, we'll take them out. And something nice I noticed in there, a nice little touch in there when you take the cover off, it's already got the wiring ready for 
the retrack so you don't have to buy any extra wires it's already rooted in there for you how good's that eh next up you take the gear door and you just put it in there and push it in make sure you get the right side then we put the landing gear plate back in and screw that down so I'll do that next and as you can see we have the gear door assembled on there you can see where this is going can't you when you've got the retracts on this is going to retract with it has a magnet here so it can slide round and hold on okay let's get the wheel on now the wheel just pushes in where it goes put the little plate in there and screw that down so I'll screw that down next so do the same on the other side take that out clip your landing gear door in tighten them back down okay there's our wheels fitted that's the landing gear done next in the manual we fit the tail plane so let's go to that these have been made so simple it's easy you just slot your carbon rod tube in there take one of the sides and slot her in it's got plastic here it just slots in turn her over slot the other side in make sure they all join up they're all connected look at that it's done now again this one comes with the little bits of tape that you need to put on so you put one on the top one on the bottom on both sides I'm gonna go and do that now make sure you've got the wing pushed right in to its maximum position there before you put your tape on then just put it on like so smooth her down and she'll just hold them in position for you next we connect connect the linkage it says to put it on the bottom hole to start with slide up your plastic so that's all done time to connect the wing remember before you screw anything down connect your aurons up there's already a double wire in here connecting for your aurons so let's connect the aurons up and put the wing in two screws at the back to do up this time it's going to hold this wing down really well so do them screws up so that's it wing screwed down and there we have a finished it's that quick and easy it really is okay I'm just gonna put the drop tanks on and we'll see what it looks like with them on eh? And there we have a finish with the drop tanks on man this is a nice looking plane it looks really good I'm really looking forward to getting this one out and flying it if it flies as half as good as the other plane it would be a magic plane because the original Corsair was a beauty this one is a little bit heavier well again it's with thanks to Mike from OMP that I'm uh, able to bring you this and next week the retracks will arrive and we'll take this wing off and we'll fit the retracks and the flaps so keep an eye out for that video and uh, for now that's about it we'll see you soon hopefully you've enjoyed this little unboxing and uh, for now, I'll just say goodbye and we'll be back real soon. Catch us later.